All right, so for this next one, I am going to show you guys how to start to put everything together for your comic strip. So we have our images here that we have edited up, all right? And I'm gonna assume that at this point in time, you guys are gonna have all of what you need in there. You're gonna have your text and any other transitions that you have meanwhile across town, two years later, one month earlier, those type of transitions in there. Um, we're gonna start to put it all together onto our strip. So the way we do that is we're gonna need a new blank canvas. So I'm gonna go file, new, and I'm gonna make the size of my canvas 30 by 30 at 150 resolution. Keep in mind that these numbers here are completely arbitrary, which means that you can choose any number you want. If you wanna make it 50 by 50, 100 by 100, that's fine. Really, all I need is a little bit of space to work so I can take my images and bring it onto a blank canvas. Make sure it's inches and not pixels. And then I'm gonna hit okay. All right, so now all I have to do is start to take my images and drag them over and drop them onto my new canvas. And I'm gonna zoom in here. All right. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move it. And as you picture, or as you put your images together, remember, you can tell your story from left to right. You can go from top to bottom, all right? And I'm gonna zoom in here real quick so you guys can kind of get an idea that see how um, right now we're losing the border, right? We put white borders around our images. But the reason that I had you do that is this way, if you stack your images on top of one another, they give that little slight break in there. So I'm gonna zoom out of here and kind of see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna put my strip together right to the left. So let's see what other pictures I have my edits on. Actually, I already dropped that picture on there. I'm gonna zoom in here. All right, so now you can see, oh, excuse me. So now you can see how I'm starting to take my pictures and putting them together. Now, if you want, you can go left to right, like I said. Also remember, if you want, you can go top to bottom, all right? You can go zigzag, whatever way you wanna go, that is completely up to you. Also, if you want to change the color of your background, so let's just say, for example, that this is my image or this is my comic strip and I'm completely done. I have all my text in there, all my transitions. I even have a title for it. Um, actually, let me put a title on there now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, the, I'll say, Amazing Adventures of photo class. <laughs> Make sure I spell that all right. So now I have my title on there and I have my strip put together. All right. Now I made this big canvas just because I needed space to put everything in place. The nice thing is too, is that if I need to, I can also resize any images that I want. So if I want something to be smaller, I don't want it to stick out as much. Or if I want something to be like a main frame and it's like, boom, like I want it to stick out a lot. I'll do that as well too. So the nice thing is, is I can keep the sizes either the same or I can change up those sizes as well. But I need this canvas space to work on first and foremost. 
So once I have that, and let's just say everything is done from top to bottom, all I'm going to do is choose crop tool and I'm going to crop around my image or around my images, shall I say. Let's crop it down. And we're just going to get rid of all that extra canvas that we don't need it's that we don't need so now here's my little comic strip the nice thing is too is that if i want to change the background color i can do that as well so i'll just highlight the background layer and i'll choose an adjustment layer uh half black half white circle i'm going to click on that i'll choose solid color and i'll choose whatever color i feel like doesn't really matter all right so now i didn't change the color of my background right and now that helps with our borders popping forward a little bit more and our even zoom in so you guys can get a better idea right so that's how you'll do it when it comes time for you guys to put everything together how it needs to be done um remember if you want to change your background color just double click on a square on that adjustment layer and you can move that slider and change that background to whatever color you desire or you like or you see fit. All right. And that's it. So once you guys have all of this done, you'll have all of your frames in. You'll have your strip put together. You'll have a nice big title for your story and take it from there.